It's a brand new day here in December in the South Wales Valleys and I've woken up to find some sandwiches have appeared on my roof. Very strange. Good morning. So it's coming very close to the end of term now. It's a midweek-ish sort of day today. Me and Izzy have got lots of things to do and we're leaving the house very shortly. So here's what we have to do today. We're going to go and do some group activities with some home educators and then after that we're going to Cardiff Centre, hanging around for a bit, meeting my mum for tea and cakes and then Izzy's going to the ballet with a friend. We're on the train now, heading into Cardiff. Got some goodie bags, look, left over from the party. This is the savoury bag, and that's the sweet bag. There was a third bag of juicy things with carrot sticks and cucumber and cheese lumps and things, but I have devoured those at the train station. I dropped my uh, ticket on the floor and the QR code the scanning at the barrier got mud on it. <laughs> but the man just let me through anyway, he had a look. Look at the development. It's coming on. The ever-changing Cardiff skyline. Now we're going to the Doctor Who shop. <laughs> my favourite shop in the world. The weather's a little bit drizzly. It's not quite raining yet though. We're just walking down Mill Lane at the moment. We've just noticed all these umbrellas on the Mocker Lounge there. One of them's of them. turned inside out. Well, that's typical with all the wind we have. I think we might need one of those brollies in a bit. It's that time of year when works do's are occurring. We've just walked past the restaurant and everyone's wearing a paper hat and tucking into a hearty succulent dinner, probably turkey, I suppose. I thought that was a real camel then. There are some real animals there though, real donkeys. So is he? Are they dromedaries or Bactrians? This is the question. That was a dromedary. A that dromedary? A right, how can you tell? Because when you put it on like its side, the one with two humps looks like a bee, the Bactrian. And when you put the one hump on its side, it looks like a bee for dromedary. Bye. Bye, Mr. Camel. Tied up. <laughs> tied up. Aww. Yeah, it's a good job it's not a real camel because it's actually tied up by one leg. So, you know, that would be animal cruelty. I think it's, it's to stop the camels walking off, if you know what I mean. Still animal cruelty! <laughs> We've got a bit of a Christmas market thing going on here in Cardiff at the moment. And some more down here, outside St David's Hall. It's St David's Hall that Izzy's going to tonight for the ballet. And that's the same place where we made the little video about the Wizard of Oz as well. There's Hayes Island Cafe Bar and it, all its Christmassy glory. Well, that building there is the old library. I think it was a town hall at one point in Cardiff's history, in the days when horses went clip-clopping past. And it was the library when I was a little girl. Now it's the Centre for Visual Arts. And inside it is a museum all about the history of Cardiff. Very good, actually, and free to get in. But right now, Izzy's got more modern things in mind. She's going to go and visit the TV shop. Is that what it's called? Favourite shop. Is it called the TV shop? I think it's film and television shop. We'll film and again. television shop. Anyway, she likes it because they sell Doctor Who stuff. I love Doctor Who so much! She does. Television and movie store. Izzy's favourite section ever. We could do with a new doormat because ours has got destroyed when the garden was dug up this we summer. Need it. <laughs> Look at these egg cups. <laughs> Which one do you like the best? I'm going to go for the Dalek. Dal you could have a doll egg. Because he's found something she wants for Christmas. No, it now. No, you can't have it now. Why not? It's not I need Christmas it anyway. Yet. I no. need it anyway. Whoa. Well, you can buy it now and you wrap it. No, well, you have to see if Santa manages it or not. It's a Doctor Who calendar. So we've got some animated bear action over there. Which one's your favourite? Um, I think we need to have a closer look before we can decide. Let's go over there. And here we are. We have arrived at the bear display. My favourite is the grey one. I've come over the other side. There's Izzy. The Americans among you may be interested to know that in Britain we have this emerging trend of Americandy shops where you can buy American candy imported at very expensive prices. Get something? Yeah, I've got for the ballet later. Okay, cool. Shall we go? There's a defibrillator by there, just by the Americandy store. I didn't even see the defibrillator. A defibrillator? Yeah. 
yeah. It's for restarting people's hearts if they have a cardiac arrest. Oh yeah, I know that because the doctor had to use one for a second heart the other day. Oh right, yeah, because he's got two, hasn't he? Yeah. But for the mere mortals among you who only have one and might need a defibrillator one day, it's for there. And that's the entrance just by um, Queen Street. So now you know where it is if you need it in an emergency. In fact, we were watching really old uh, Doctor Who reruns the other day from about 2005 and some of it was filmed in this very bit that we're in now, actually. It was all being blown up by aliens. Which bit, which Doctor Who episode was filmed in here? Oh, the mannequins. The mannequins. She knows. She remembers these things. Right, I think we're going to go and meet my mum now. Come into Grand Arcade, actually, on the way to meet my mum. And we found this um, indoor soft play centre for little children and they rent out these little cars look for the uh, up to age five apparently for five pounds you can wheel your child around St David's shopping centre in it <laughs> Izzy thinks they should make them bigger I could do with one for me actually we're stopping for a little um, snack break here I brought some sandwiches with me save money Oh, that's so much better. It's been a bit of a funny day, really, because it's been a kind of party-ish, buffet-ish kind of day when we've just been picking at stuff when we weren't really hungry, so we haven't eaten any proper meals. Didn't realise how low blood sugar we were getting, but, oh, we're feeling better now. So I'm off to meet my mum and have more sugar in a cafe. <laughs> Wherever we go today, we keep finding Doctor Who images. You never noticed them until you got into Doctor Who, did you? No, look, this is a Dalek, and up there is a TARDIS. That's my TARDIS impression. There's another one over here, apparently. No, nothing Doctor Who-y on this side. We do have Billy the Seal. There's Billy the Seal. Billy the Seal used to live in Victoria Park in Canton, when it used to be a, a small zoo. And they discovered after Billy the Seal's demise that Billy was actually a female. There's all sorts of funny stories about Billy the Seal. Yeah. And we don't know how many of them are exactly true. It's about half past five now, well, maybe 20 past. Izzy is dropped off at the ballet and I'm out alone in Cardiff and it's a bit noisy. I'm going to go Christmas shopping while I can. Well, that's the first thing bought. Obviously, I can't tell you what it is because somebody might watch this video and find out what they're getting. We can't have that. Right, next shop. I'm on my way to Lakeland Plastics now. It's quite a good place for little knick-knacky bits. It's called Lakeland. I don't suppose it's been called Lakeland Plastics for years. Anyway, that was very productive. I've got some, well, I think they're great presents for people in there. <laughs> right, what shall I do now? Mm, not used to all this freedom. It's a brass band and they're quite good as well. I'm going to have a quick look in the works if it's still open. It's kind of like um, a discount bookshop. That's the castle ahead of us over there. There's little light squiggles. Of Little sculptures, I'm going to show you in a bit actually. But I'm going to go in the works first, which is here. I've come out of there now. I've got an ever increasingly more bulging shopping bag now. I need to stop buying things. A, because I can't carry it anymore, it's getting too heavy, and B, because I'm running out of money. I think we've got enough now. Christmas is sorted. Right, let's go and have a look at these Christmas lights by the castle. That's what those lights look like there, on that street. There we are, chaps. Don't they look lovely? That's the city hall clock going off. Oh, here we are, you can have a look at these lights. This is High Street. I love the way it's reflected on the wet paving. This road is pedestrianised these days, but it didn't used to be. When I was a kid, there was always traffic going up and down here. Still feels a little counterintuitive to be walking right up the middle of the road. 
Is it just me or are these Christmas trees upside down? Random illuminated windmill. It's getting darker and darker and chillier and chillier. And I'm wrapped up in my scarf and hat again now. There seems to be a load of carolers over there dressed in the most extraordinary outfits. We wish you a Merry <laughs> Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us the I'm back in St David's Hall and I'm just waiting for Izzy and her mate and my mum and her mate's grand to come down the escalator and then we're gonna get the train home. I've been waiting ages. I think they're gonna be the last out. All the crowds have come and gone down those escalators and it's just a little trickle now, so hopefully any second. I've got me girl and we're on our way to the train station now. So it's about half past nine at night and we've just got home, we had a lovely day didn't film on the train because it was really really crowded on there but we had a good old feast and we're pretty tired now so I'm going to end the vlog please don't forget to give a like if you like the video because it really helps the channel to grow subscribe if you haven't already and if you would like to follow more of our little random adventures and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye oh, aren't they lovely